in the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful. As Muhammad, peace be upon him, narrated, if anyone travels on a road in search of knowledge, Almighty Allah will cause him to travel on one of the roads of paradise. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tariq Masood. Thank you very much for watching my videos and your wonderful support to make this channel a grand success. We are a team and a family. Please subscribe our channel and share if you haven't done so far. We as a team can work together to convert our challenges into opportunities and opportunity into success stories. These success stories can be monetized into value addition. Thank you very much for your precious time. Okay, today we are going to discuss my lecture number six on smart grid control challenges model. So as we have promised to complete a hundred lecture, today I am going to discuss lecture number six. Before my lecture, I used to read a Quranic verse. Rabbi Shrahali Sadri wa Yassarli Amri wa Hlalu Uqda Tam Millisani Yaqwa Kalu Rabbi Sitri Ilma. From my next page, uh, I'm going to give pay uh, my special gratitude to my professors and few of them, the faculty members. On later on, I will explain my plan and then I will run a complete a trail on my lecture number six. Uh, this is my acknowledgement page. I pay my special gratitude all faculty members, in particularly Professor Dr. R. K. Agarwal, former director of Center of Sustainable Power Distribution University of Bath. He was my supervisor. I worked with him more than 12 years. Uh, Professor Dr. Abdullahi Adris Alayt, a former APRI senior technology manager, California, USA. So he was my mentor and external supervisor. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2016. Almighty Allah bless him, highest place in Jannah. Professor Dr. Muhammad Afzal Haq, Professor Dr. Nud Mohan, uh, Professor Dr. Florent Pamtu, Professor Dr. Muhammad Tajambal, Professor Dr. B.S. Chaudhary, Professor Dr. Nasir E. Madi, Professor Dr. Akhtar Kalam, Head of Smart Technology from Victoria University, Australia, Professor Dr. Suhail Aftab, Qureshi, former Dean UT Lahore, Professor Dr. D.P. Kotari, Professor Dr. Abdul Jabbar, CEO ADP, Pakistan. Okay, Smart Grid Operations and Control Challenges, Introduction, Lecture number 5th, here. So, in my earlier lecture, what we discussed so far, just a slight recap. Uh, we have discussed electricity, recall for our civilization, electric power functionality, energy efficiency from generation to consumption, ultimate goal of smart grid. We discussed uh, power system infrastructure development, power system complexity, power system limitations, and reactive power significance and management. We have also discussed reactive power management, how to produce, challenge to manage reactive power, balanced reactive power, challenge at AC power system. In the lecture number four, we have discussed a dealing with thermal limit, increased transmission, Conductor current carrying capacity DTCR dynamic thermal circuit rating technology. Okay, so on my next slide, I will give you uh, my future plan 100 lecture program and then I will give you uh, my uh, key takeaway points and then we'll run a complete trade on my lecture number fifth. Uh, this is my 100 lecture plan. These will be delivered within eight to nine months. Okay, what basically uh, my plan? So I will give you a brief about understanding first concept technology. What is the concept? Then we will discuss a power semiconductor devices, voltage source converter, self and line commutated current source converters, SVC and statcom operations, static series compensators static voltage and phase angle regulators combined compensator UPFC special purpose fax devices or controllers and application we will discuss few example the fax devices already implemented in United States what is the ultimate goal of fax technology or smart grid shaping the global energy delivery fax are resolved with grid blocks and delivering clean and poor energy that is the plan in order to deliver, shape the global energy delivery, facts on reserving grid, 
delivering clean and poor energy okay on my next slide i'm going to give you a key takeaway points okay uh, key takeaway points here first uh, we will discuss uh, third generation fax devices impact of dynamic voltage support and then we'll discuss uh, a fault induced or delayed voltage recovery phenomenon FIDVR and statcom insurance voltage recoveries then we will discuss SSR so on a later stage uh, we will discuss in detail on all fax devices okay i express my deep gratitude to all faculty mem members student and leadership in particular vcs and deans of the universities as listed here uh, uet lahore nfc multan rct gujranwala mehran ned habib nast international research krachi electric distinguished lecture i typically cut the sections university of district columbia university of Tax taxes arlington Texas Tech University, University of Bath, Qatar University, Texas A&M Qatar, University of Granada, University of Salamanca, Comset, Abdabad, City University, Peshawar. Okay, today we are going to discuss reactive power compensation or third generation compensations. Earlier we have already discussed first generation compensations that is mechanical switch capacitor and reactors. There's first generation compensations second generation compensation by using static wall compensated thyristor controlled reactor and thyristor switch capacitor that is tcr and tsc and that is second generation compensator and today we are going to discuss third generation compensators that is static subsynchronous static synchronous compensator statcom both inductive and capacitor mode of operation today we are going to discuss okay what is the difference between all three compensator the first is a breaker based it has a breaker delay second thyristor based it can activate within two to three cycles and third generation converter base it has one to two cycles that is quickest and fastest today we are going to demonstrate in my next slide okay this is uh, an example for uh, svc static wall compensators uh, 250 MVR uh, SVC at 500 kV transmission line. Okay, this is an ideal example to understand how fax devices are functioned in power transmission network. Okay, impact of dynamic voltage support in transmission controllers. Okay, if you can see here, the top here is a my a power network. It demands it generation size v1 sending and voltage and v2 receiving at voltage load and svc installed this is a medium range a uh, medium distance transmission line to 30 kv and 300 kilometer okay so the statcom installed to support a v2 voltage or receiving at voltage okay we have demonstrated a four operating conditions first if there is a heavy load what could happen light load outage of one line and load rejection we have discussed four operating conditions with out statcom or with statcom or svc okay if you can see here these are the legend uh, with statcom and without statcom it's again of our uh, sloop is equal to the drop how much is the changes are there Okay, blue arrow, it demonstrates the acceptable maximum voltage control range depend on Q over SCP. Okay, now if you have seen my lecture number one, two, three, which I have demonstrated are my capacitor and inductor mode of operation, a balanced capacitor and inductor. Okay, in the if you can see in the condition A, heavy load and your voltage drop and reached a point nine seven or point nine five. Okay, 
on B condition light load as load reduced and your voltage increase 1.108 slide changed and in number C condition here light outage of one line if one line at the top circuit here is dropped so the voltage reduced up to 0.8 per unit okay now in D condition if you can see here so if the load is rejected so rejection of the load so suddenly the V2 voltage increase up to here okay now so the worst conditions when the outage of one line and D is load rejection so it's this condition is without start com so the C and D is a worst condition if there is a no SVC start com is in operation so it will lead to a system instabilized and may trip the system so ideally so we have crossed the operating range maximum voltage control range we have crossed okay now by implementing a statcom so with the statcom if you can see here a condition b condition c condition and d so your voltage remain in the middle so it will be managed or controlled within one to two cycle as we have discussed in my earlier slide so this is very much clear so by implementing SVC start call so you can control a voltage deviation within within one to two cycle as we have demonstrated here okay controlling power transfer parameters for the start com transmission controllers if you can see here on my left hand side no support for recovery as fault occurred so the voltage dropped and back onto 0.6 value per unit value so remain at 0.6 per unit value but on right hand side a reactive power rejections start come operation so if the start come is installed as we start come installed so what it could happen it start injection reactive power at one within one to two cycle here and it will support the voltage and voltage recover back into the one per unit value so so the fault induced delay voltage recovery phenomena of a dvr as fault induced if we install reactive power composition devices so it will start injecting reactive power and it will recover the voltage drop back to the arm and quickly speed up within a one to two cycle okay statcom applications statcom issues voltage recovery okay now this is my network here motor load and receiving and uh, start come installed so over here the first graph indicate start com active mvr blue color and reactive power mvr in orange here so the start com did not provide any active power if you can see active power remain as zero and it provide reactive power mvr in orange here if you can see here, this is active power and it provide reactive power this is the orange color it demonstrate it can go up to 35 mvr okay on the second graph here so the bus voltage per unit with blue and without orange statcom okay now so if you can see here the the bus voltage blue and without orange statcom so as the voltage drop so the statcom 
start injecting reactive power and it improved the voltage if you can see the blue color here. But if the statcom is switched off or out of range, so it will remain at 0.9 here. In the second here again, so the induction motor speed per unit with blue and without without orange stat compass. So, so the induction machine speed if stat com is installed, so it will recover and back into the normal. If not, so this is blue without without stat com operation. So that is two condition it demonstrated. Bus voltage improved with the statcom applications and induction motor speed improved with the statcom operations. So without statcom, both conditions are not as demanded. Okay. Controlling power transfer series capacitor compensations transmit control that is in a other ideal example to understand how the series compensations can affect to improve the power transfer capacity. So first it will help to re reduce of the transmission angle and then increase of transmission capacity. This is an ideal example. This is my generation side and load side. So V1 sending end and V2 receiving end and delta 1 is my power angle sending and this delta 2 my receiving and power angle. Okay. Now, so P is a power. So this is my equations which you use to calculate the power. P is to V square over X minus XC and sine delta. So this is my XC line compensation series capacity and this is my X line reactance. Okay. Now, if you see here, when we start injecting a voltage a series compensations so what it will do it will generate a vc voltage here and this is a v1 and v2 without compensations so as compensation came in operations so it will start injecting vc voltage and v1 and v2 will demonstrate like this and this angle reduced so the reduction of transmission angle as mentioned here so the it will reduce the transmission angle in between v1 and v2 so as long as the transmission angle reduce you can deliver maximum power so this is a without series compensation and second graph is showing with series compensations so so the load angle the delta is equal to delta 1 minus delta 2 that would be the overall power angle as demonstrated here okay so this is an an other ideal example to understand how the series compensations series if we install series capacitor SSC in the series how we can improve or we can increase a power transfer capacity into the power network system Okay, this and other example is called the nose curve. So nose curve has a reduction of transmission angle in case of power, which we discussed in an earlier slide here. So again here, this is the generation and this is my load area, load sides. So it has a strong influence of series compensations. So pre-cartagency conditions improved or post-cartagency conditions for P and or B here. So if you can see here, this is a my voltage and this is the power. So pre contingency post condition, this is a pre contingency post condition here. So if you can see here, this is my XC is equal to zero, mean there is a XC no compensations here okay in second curve here the first this is the first curve 
and in the second curve here so x increase at point 0.5 per unit value so now improved post condition from here to here so on when x increase of 0 0.5 to 0 0.75 here so it looks like here so your voltage and your improved and as well as your volt your power is increased so that is an ideal example to understand so when axi the line reactance increased so how the power flow can increase into the power network systems so this is my axel that line reactance okay so now there is a one a pitfall or drawback or challenge when you increase series compulsion that is an other phenomenon it's great SSR so it will subset cross resonance will create when you we have series compensations series capacitive compensation when we have a series capacitive compensation so that another challenge is subset cross resonance phenomena will occur if you can see here this is my electric a power side and this is my mechanical side this is my HP turbine high pressure turbine medium pressure turbines and LP turbine that's low pressure or low turbines and that's this is my generator generation side okay now what is basically SSR occurs when the complement frequency natural undamped frequency close to one of the transition frequency of the band generator shaft system so if you can see here on the top pendulum they are, are spinning but they're not matching or talking to each other number two a small voltage induced by the rotor oscillation can result in a large sub current that produced an oscillatory components of the rotor torque whose phase is such that it enhances the rotor oscillations so if this torque overcomes the mechanical damping, the oscillation in the shaft system grows and reaches into damaging level because you have a huge amount of energy into the system here. Okay, so on my next slide, we will give a brief about highlights of the subsynchronous resonance SSC phenomena and then we'll conclude our today presentation. Okay, now the uh, series capacitive composite transmission control subsequent cross resonance phenomena will occur when we use okay the first here the SSR curve when the complement frequency natural undamped frequencies close to one of the torsion frequency of the turbine generator a shaft that is first here a small voltage induced by rotor oscillations can result in large subsynchronous current so that produced oscillatory components of the rotor torque whose phase is such that it enhances the rotor oscillations. If this torque overcomes the mechanical damping, the oscillation the shaft system grows and can reach damaging level. So that's important. So thank you very much, gentlemen. So on uh, our next lecture, we will discuss the, how to address the SSR phenomena by using a different approach. Thank you very much for your precious time. Okay, today we have discussed the uh, impact of dynamic voltage support here. Then we discuss fault induced FDR, VR, what is that? Static voltage recovery, how it's happened, and improve the induced induction motor speed and subsynchronous phenomena we have discussed today. So we are still discussing Chandran series compensators and uh, probably. Uh, from next lecture we will conclude okay these are references the paper which uh, I have uh, published in different uh, conferences and journals thank you very much for your precious time together everyone achieve more please don't hesitate send me your feedback and comments t.musul.dr at bath.edu Please stay at home, 
safe inspired and blessed thank you very much again for your precious time